Hi, for anybody that's the first time viewing this video, my name's Heather. I'm going to be talking about what's going on right now. In this moment, it is 7 p.m. It's Thanksgiving, and I just got a text message from my daughter asking if her and my father could come and drop off Thanksgiving supper. Um, my parents took temporary custody of my child almost, well, it was uh, December 27th, so... In another month, in a couple days, it'll be a year since my baby's been home. And I've done everything within my ability, up under the circumstances of just everything, to try and get her back. But nobody gives a shit if I get her back except for me and her pets. And then we've lost one of her dogs or what the hell ever in the process because he just, I don't know, I think somebody took him. And uh, she hasn't been able to come over and visit her pets and stuff. And they have not brought her over to my house. They have not done visitations over here. They were unwilling to do that. They were unwilling to do visitations at their house. Instead, they wanted to do them where I worked to embarrass and humiliate and degrade me. And so I sat there in shock because this is the first of any type of conversation like this. And I know my child can't drive. She's not even close to driving age. And so, of course, she's going to have to have somebody drive her over to drop off Thanksgiving food if she wants to give me some. So she asked if her and my dad can come over and drop it off. My dad is the one that he was not in charge or let to be in charge by the judge of the visitation and my mom had to be because I have issues with my dad being very violent in the past. And so I sat here in shock after receiving the text message. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, I can do this. And I'm like, just say yes and just grab the food, you know, like out of my kid's hand. Or even out of my dad's hand, if he's the one that gets out of the car, just grab it out of their hand. Tell your kid you love them, and you'll see, you hope to see them later, and you hope that they're doing good. And just go back in the house, because I have like a, a gate outside, and I thought I'm not going to unlatch the gate, and I'm just going to grab the food, and I'm going to walk back in, shut the door. And then they text back, or she did, and she said, what do you want me, which is not my child. This is not my child at all. My child would done know the answer. My child is educated enough to done know the answer. Educated enough in both ways to know the answer. And my child is not manipulative like this. This is my father. The next message that comes is, well, do you want us to bring the food now or whenever you go in? Talking about when I go into work, because I typically used to work night shift. And now I'm out of work. And they want me to tell them, that tell them, they want the verbal satisfaction from my mouth to their ear that I'm not working. Because they're narcissists. Who would want to take their Thanksgiving meal to work with them? Unless it is, oh, well, I'm going to get a break within an hour or two. So, yeah, give me my food and I'll eat it at work. But who would want to do that? Nobody in the right mind for the most part. Who would say, yeah, up under a stressful situation? Who in the right mind would say, yeah, you know what? It's done been a stressful situation with you, my kid, myself, the fact that you're being a prick, a dickhead, an asshole, a piece of shit. You took my kid from me. I've not seen my kid since July. My kid is not allowed to talk to me about things, says you. My kid is not allowed, apparently, to hug me or something, says you, because my child has never been one to not hug me until this shit happened. I have not received a hug from my child since January. My own nieces hugged me when I was going to visitation, but my child wouldn't. That is not my child. That is my child being controlled. So way to go, court system. Way to go, all these people that are supposed to really care about the benefit of the fucking child. Y'all are a piece of shit. Y'all are a piece of shit. 
for doing this and allowing this and allowing it to go on this long. So I know it's a manipulation and I expected it, but I didn't expect it in that form. So I paused and I gave myself a moment and I thought, stay in control because that's what the narcissist wants. The narcissist wants to be in control. I thought, stay in control. How can I stay in control? Okay, how is this benefiting me? I don't give a shit about their food. Food's food. I fixed my own fucking food. I've done eight my Thanksgiving supper. Fuck food. I don't give a shit about the food. But I give a shit that my child might actually be worried that I don't have anything to eat or that I'm without food, or she might be willing, you know, or not willing, but wanting to of her own free will to give me Thanksgiving supper, and she might be missing me and wishing that I was there eating Thanksgiving supper with her. So, yes, I will take the food. Okay. But I don't want to see my dad. And I'm not going to, you know, answer the question of whether I want it, you know, like, I'm not going to um, relate it to work. I'm not going to relate it to work. I'm just going to be like, yeah, go ahead and bring it. And what do I want? What benefit can I get out of this? How is this going to benefit or help me? I don't want the food. I'll be nice enough to take the food, but I don't want the food. What would I like? A hug from my baby girl. More than anything. So I text my daughter back after a few minutes. And I say to her, yeah, y'all can bring it now. But I want Papa to stay in the vehicle. And you can hand me the food. But I want a hug from you. And if you can't provide that to me, then it's better you don't come. Because it's not fair. And I'm tired of people wanting to treat me unfair. So, I sent that message probably about 10 minutes ago, and I haven't received anything back. And I may not, I may not receive anything back because this is him trying to control. This is him trying to manipulate. And now I'm sitting here and my anxiety is getting the better of me because I know how cruel this man is. And I want to call the cops and say, go down there and check on them. Make sure they're okay all night long. Make sure he don't do nothing to them. Because he, he'll be mad. Because I'm standing up to him. And you don't stand up to him. And I always have more than I should have. Because nobody stands up to him. All I can say is God be with them. And God be with me. Anybody that cares, pray for my daughter, please. Her name is Ava. Please pray for her. Pray my baby stay safe. Pray I get my life back together. Pray that they see that they did wrong the courts and pray that they give her back to me. I'm falling apart because of this. Which is exactly what my dad wants and my mom too. And I'm going to end it here. I'll catch you later.